The meta tag module allows you to manage your meta tags within Drupal. Now, I have covered this module in the past. I do have two videos, one on how to set up Twitter cards using meta tag, and also another on how to set up open graph tags using the same module. But I have never covered how to install and configure the meta tag module. So let's take a look at the module right now. If you want to learn more about the module, just head over to drupal.org slash project slash meta tag and installing it is pretty straightforward. The only dependency that we have is the token module. And here you can see all of the meta tags that it supports. So open graph, Twitter tags, Dublin core, and it has a whole list of sub modules. So the first thing we're gonna do is download the module. So jump into your terminal and type in composer require Drupal slash meta tag and also Drupal slash token because remember token is a dependency. And now that they have been downloaded, let's jump into our site. We don't need that browser opened up and then go into extend and search for meta tag. And here you can see a lot of sub modules. The first one we'll focus on is just meta tag. And let me just have a quick look. Now I think that is it. So scroll down and then click on install. And of course it's gonna ask for token because it is a dependency. So install that as well. Chances are you will have token already installed because it is a very useful module. To configure meta tag, just go into configuration and scroll down until you find meta tag in search and, and metadata. And from here, you can configure the tags. So here you can see we have default meta tag configuration. The first one is global. Anything configured here will be used across the whole site. And then just for the home page, we can configure the meta tags differently. But it's important to note that every other configuration inherits the meta tags from global. So meta tag allows you to kind of override configuration all the way down to um, single content types. And I'll show you how to do that. So here, as I mentioned, we have global. So this is used everywhere. Then front page inherits global and then adds in say short link, but it'll change. You'll notice canonical URL is site colon URL, but on global, it is current page URL. And that's the same for all of these as well. And then we have content, which is say the content type. So on every single content page, like article, basic page, the title will be node title. And then the description will be node summary and the, and the canonical URL will be the node URL, but it will still inherit meta tags from global. So that's important to just understand how it kind of cascades and inherits things. So then we have also taxonomy term and also user. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's create a custom meta tag configuration for just the article content type. So let's scroll up and click on add default meta tags. And from the type drop down, here you can see all of your entity types and bundles. So let's focus on article and leave everything as is, and then click on save. And then if we scroll down to content, we can see content and then we can see content article. So right now, this will inherit all of the global meta tags, as well as the content meta tags into the content article meta tag. So you can see that now there's like two levels, global content, and then the content article. So let's now configure the article content type meta tags, click on edit, and then click on basic tags. And we don't have to worry about page title and description because that is handled by the content meta tag configuration. The only thing we'll do is configure the keywords to use the words added into the tags field. So if I open up a new tab and go to content and let's create a test article. So I'll click on article and I'll enter in Drupal, Drupal article, enter in some summary text. And then we have this tag. So let me type in here, Drupal, WordPress and React. Now, 
I want to use these tags in the keywords meta tag field. So let's click on save. And if we right click and view page source, and let me zoom this in, we can see the canonical URL, which is the node URL. We also have title here somewhere. It always jumps around. There we go. And then also we have the description, but we do not have, let me just check keywords, uh, keywords. No, no, we don't. So let's go ahead and fix that up. So let me just scroll back up and let's go back into our meta tag configuration. And right now, all we need to do is find the token. So click on browse available tokens. And this token pop-up always does this, always has to be resized and click on nodes and scroll down until you find node colon tags. And it's right here. Now we can drill down further, but we don't have to just copy this token and let me close this and just paste it in here and make sure there are no spaces after it. And then just click on save. And then if we scroll down, we can see just the keywords has been overridden in this configuration. Then if we go back and refresh, we should see the keywords. Let me just double check that. Keywords, it is not there. Let's do a rebuild of the cache. Clear all the caches. And let's just refresh. And now here you go. We have the keywords. So that's an important thing to remember. If you are making changes to the meta tags, make sure you rebuild your cache. And here you can see Drupal, WordPress, React, and those values are powered by the tags field. So at this point, we have created a configuration just for the article content type. But what if you want to override meta tag values on the actual node? So at the node level, well, with meta tag, you can do that. And all you need to do is add the meta tag field to the content type. So let's go ahead and add the meta tag field to the article content type so we can override all of these values from this page. Click on structure, content types, and then click on manage fields on the article row, then click on add field. And you should see this meta tags field. Just add it and then give it a label. I, I just call it meta tags or meta tag, whatever you want to call it. I'll just call it meta tags. Click on save and continue and just leave everything as it is. There's not much configuration involved. And you want to make sure if you have configured the managed form display, you want to make sure that it has been enabled. Okay, cool. And it'll be added to the sidebar by default. So click on save. And now if we go to content and edit our article, over here, we can see all of the meta tags right here. So now we can go ahead and override the meta tag values just for this article. So sometimes instead of using the node summary, you may want to actually type in change summary here. And then if we well, scroll back up, click on save, and then go to Drupal article we should see our custom description right here. And that's it. Now, another common thing you'll do is add meta tags to views pages. So if we go to, well, let's close these tabs and close this one. So if we go to structure, views, and we go to say the front page, okay? So the front page is slash node. Sometimes, you may want to control the meta tags on this particular page. But because this uh, page is controlled by views, you can't just go in there and add a field to it. Okay. Now, luckily, there is a sub module called meta tag. Well, let me find it. Meta tag views, which allows you to configure custom uh, meta tags uh, on the views configuration page. So click on install, so select it and then click on install. And 
Let's go to structure, views, and let's use the front page as an example. Of course, you can modify. Do I even have? No, let's go to configuration. Now, because the front page is used for the front page, you can go into meta tag and of course, modify the front page configuration here. I understand that. But just to explain it, let's edit this front page meta tag. And then you should have these options down here, which allow you to just go in there and modify your uh, meta tags for the page. So here you can add in the page title, description, abstract keywords, pretty much any meta tags that can be modified from the configuration can be modified over here. And also if you do not wanna have a views page indexed, you can just come in here and click on no index. And that will tell the search engines not to index it. Now, the search engines can still index it, but they technically shouldn't index it because you have flagged it as no index. Now, the last thing we'll look at are the permissions for the module, because right now, if you click on cancel, so let's jump out of this and go to people, then permissions. And if we scroll down to meta tag, you'll see we only have this single administer meta tags, which is used to control the main settings. So that's the meta tag configuration and also modify per object meta tags. So that is the values in the fields. Now there is a sub module called, let me go here. There is a sub module called meta tags extended permission, which allows you to set permissions for each meta tag. Now, just be aware and take note of this. Where, where does it say here? Note, this may lead to performance issues on permissions admin page because it essentially creates a custom permission for every single meta tag value. Um, so just be aware, okay? If you're gonna have all of these meta tag um, sub modules installed, you're gonna have a lot of permissions. So click on extend permissions and let's install it and take a look and see what it gives us. So let's click on configure related permissions. And here you can see all of, all of the meta tag values and also the roles up here. So here we can specify that content editor can only modify, what is it, the page title. Um, also it can modify keywords. And then if we were to create another role, then that role can modify, you know, specific meta tags. But as I mentioned, it will create a permission for every single meta tag. So this page right here, so if we go to permissions, this page will get pretty big when you install the module. So just be aware of that. Now, the final thing I wanna show you is how to add the no index meta tag. This is a very common request. Clients often want certain pages to not be indexed. Now, to configure the no index uh, meta tag value, which I already covered in the view section is pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and add it to the article content type configuration. So let's clean up these tabs. I always do go a bit tab crazy. And then go to configuration, meta tag, and let's configure it on the article content type. And if we click on advanced, we should see here, no index. Scroll down, click on save, and let's clear the cache as you have to. And now, if we go back to our article and view the source, and here you can see that the no index meta tag has been added. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about Drupal, head over to webwash.net. And also don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.